What's going on, Tiger Nation? Y'all know who it is. It's your main man, Ken Clark, KC 1400 Media. And you're tuning in to a very small portion of an awesome interview that our new head women's basketball coach, Coach Margaret Richards. She sat down with Rob J on JSU TV. And uh, we just wanted to play this clip. Uh, we've been dropping a little bit of the aspects of that interview via uh, our shorts. But I wanted to take this portion of the interview and give you a nice little healthy portion of that. Now, the full interview is on the Jackson State University page on Facebook. That link will be in the description of this video. And this will be the last portion of that interview that we will show on this channel. Um, I just want to say that we, we're super excited about the Margaret Richards era. And what she had to say is just is very telling. I think you guys are going to really like what she did have to share. And uh, while you're here, be sure to like, share, subscribe to the channel. It's free to subscribe. Uh, we are on the road to 6,000 subscribers. We just hit 2 million plus views on the channel, on the road to 3 million views. And we can't do that without you guys. But without further ado, we're going to scroll it over to that portion of the interview. Hope you enjoy it. Do y'all love? Go Tigers, baby. And one thing you said, Coach, that really hit home with me is you said, this time you're not starting from scratch. And we're not, not with you. <laughs> <laughs> so you have a lot of experience. So tell us a little bit about yourself, Coach. That is right now. Okay, well, uh, I'm originally from Louisville, Kentucky. I'm a Kentucky girl. Um, Good, Muhammad Ali from? Oh, that's right. We went to the same high school, too. What? What? Yes, Louisville Central High School. You didn't box, too, did you? Coach? No, I did not box. <laughs> but uh, I've, we've, I've met him. He's, he's came to our community center. Mm -hmm. uh, this community center that I used to go play basketball mm -hmm. at when I was younger, mm -hmm. his brother, Ali Rockman, mm -hmm. worked at the community center with wow. us. So we got the, uh, he's uh, always come to the community center, so we used to be all excited when uh -oh. I was younger. Uh -huh. So yeah, so uh, risen from Louisville, Kentucky, um, played basketball there all four years at Louisville Central High School. Mm -hmm. Just a young, you know, uh, got introduced by my best friend uh, when I started when I was like 11. I did not want to play basketball. I wanted to dance and be a cheerleader. <laughs> Secret. <laughs> I did not want to play basketball, but then I just fell in love with it because I've mm -hmm. always been extremely competitive. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh my goodness. So went to high school, played, then I uh, went to University of Nebraska. Coach Hurd uh, and Coach Sanford, they recruited me at WKU. Mm -hmm. Then they went to Nebraska. So I just had a really good relationship with them because they recruited me since I was a sophomore in high school. So wow. okay. I went to uh, go play at the University of Nebraska for four years. So changed my life. It was a great, great, great experience. Mm -hmm. um, had a lot of fun, met a lot of good teammates. Only thing I failed to do there is win a championship. You know, mm -hmm. won a championship in high school, region championship in high school, middle school, but that was the only place. But great experience, long, long life, fun, memories, changed my life, molded me to mm -hmm. the person I am today. And then I just um, started to uh, figure out what I wanted to do when I was a senior. And I was like, oh, I can't play no more because I kind of, I hurt my Achilles a little bit. Mm -hmm. I strung my Achilles, so I was like, I want to stay in with basketball. Mm -hmm. So you think about announcing? You know what? That was my that was my dream. Uh -huh. Yes, I wanted to cuz Robin Roberts is my role model. Okay. I love Robin Roberts. Uh -huh. I was like I I was you got that voice coach. You got the good. I can, I can tell. <laughs> I wanted to do that mm -hmm. at first. And I was like, oh, my goodness. I love Robin Roberts. Mm -hmm. I started watching her on ESPN when I was younger, when I was mm -hmm. watching all the basketball. Because I grew up a family of, um, it was three of us, two brothers. I'm the baby girl. My nickname mm -hmm. is Baby Girl. <laughs> <laughs> so we can't call you that, though? No, 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 no. Okay, no, no, right. no, no, no. You right. can't call me that. No, no, no. <laughs> so, yeah. So I grew up uh, the only girl of the family. So, again, my senior year. I was like, you know what? I want to stay in sports. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I never thought about coaching throughout my whole college career. But then I was like, maybe I want to do this. So I worked in uh, minority recruiting on campus for the university. Mm -hmm. So I learned the admin side and the administration oh, okay. side. So it was cool. And I was recruiting kids to the university academically, wow. reading their essays and you know seeing who's going to give scholarships to, doing different programs mm -hmm. like that. And it, it was really, really cool but I was missing the athletic side. Wow. So mm -hmm. my coach got a head coaching job at a division two Kentucky State and it started from there. Wow, that's how? Been, yep, that's how my journey goes. So I went from Kentucky wow. State uh, for two years. We turned the program into the one like four, five games previously to we won like 19. I mean, it was just wow. crazy, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, we spent two years there. Uh, then we went to University of Louisville. I was a GA for a year. 
And then I got an opportunity to go to a smaller school, Division II school, mm -hmm. again in North Carolina, St. Augustine's College. Mm -hmm. And I was a head coach there for two years. Mm -hmm. um, then I went to, I wanted to get back to the Division I side. So I was like, let me take a step back and be an assistant coach. Okay. And I was a recruiting coordinator at North Texas University. Mm -hmm. Then I went to um, Weber State, spent the time in Ogden, Weber State. Okay. And then I went to WKU, where we just excelled. I, I hooked up again with Coach Hurd, my mm -hmm. mentor. Mm -hmm. Hooked up again with her. We spent three years there. We won like three championships. and. It was awesome at Conference USA and Sun Belt Conference because right. we switched, we transitioned over. Right. And so then after that, I went to Clemson uh, for a year, and then Mr. Goodness Hicks. gracious! I know, I know, I've been all over. <laughs> I, get, I know you like. Oh. My good, yeah, but but you've been successful wherever you, wherever you went, yeah. and then Alabama and you were there for. Yep, quite I was there for time. eight years. Yes, mm -hmm. yep, Clemson for one year, and then. Um, you know, Mr. Hicks, my former AD, believed in me, you know, and actually it was his second time calling me. Mm -hmm. um, he called me and I was like, you know what, this is God, I, I have to go. You so yeah, go. Yes, yes. so yes, then yeah, just spent, a, spent some time there, you know, took over the program when it was absolutely the worst program in the country, RPI, right. 353, and was dead wow. last in the conference. Several. I, mean, I didn't yes. realize that. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, we, we, we educated our girls, uh, got in, uh, couldn't recruit. Uh, Cause you know the roster was already there. We you know we only had like 13 scholarships because we was on probation at the time. Mm -hmm. so, but I just still wanted to make an imprint mm -hmm. and get my feet wet, get some D D1, and you know, and Alabama mm -hmm. and it was a great school, you mm -hmm. know. So I wanted to mm -hmm. get in, get some experience, and you know, took a look, took us some time, but we instantly kind of you know got some things turned around there, mm -hmm. and you know, mm -hmm. and always was a contender, you know, right, absolutely. moving forward. Yeah. Well, Coach, what do you want the JSU fans and supporters to, to do to help you? What can they do instead of just sitting out there talking? <laughs> well, um, well, number one, I want you guys to support us. You know, uh, I want you to be patient. Um, it might not happen just quite overnight, but we will get the job done. I want you to believe in us. You know, I, I, I'm confident that we can do the job. I'm excited to be here. My staff is excited to be here. And I want you guys just to rally behind us, support us, give us the same type of love because we feel it. The, the, the players feel it. And I think when that is presented, you will, give, you will get a different type of product in reaction. So I just, I just feel like I want you guys to do that. Yes, ma'am. I think they will do that. 